So I'd like to thank everyone attending uh, this webinar. This is, a, this is gonna be a very brief introduction to the uh, MST degree in Applied Ocean Sciences. Uh, it's a coursework plus dissertation. It's actually a mini dissertation component, which is jointly uh, um, convened by the Department of Biological Sciences and the Department of Oceanography at the University of Cape Town and uh, um, organized and managed by the Marine and Antarctic Research Center on innovation and sustainability for innovation and sustainability. So I'd like uh, to give you a um, very brief overview of what the center does and then go into more details regarding the course. Um, uh, there are a few lecturers uh, and actually the co-conveners, uh, uh, Cecile Reed uh, is also attending. Uh, my name is Marcello Vicky and I'm the director of the Marine of Maris. And uh, um, I'm at the Department of Oceanography and Cecile is at the Department of Biological Sciences, but you, we also have uh, uh, Astrid Charre, uh, another lecturer uh, who will be helping to convene the course as well during the, the next year. Um, very briefly, um, what MARIS is, it's a center. It's actually been uh, around at UCT for quite a long time uh, with different name. You may know the Marine uh, uh, Research Institute, MARE, that started uh, uh, 10 years ago and it's been convening uh, this course uh, for quite a long time that was initially called uh, Applied Marine Sciences. So MARIS is an aggregator of interdisciplinary expertise uh, that spans uh, uh, two um, faculties at UCT, the Faculty of Science and the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment at UCT. So uh, MARIS considers both academic and technological knowledge uh, um, as conducive to societal benefits. Uh, our overarching aim is to enhance the production of knowledge and human capacity in marine and Antarctic research, and we do that uh, through uh, three main uh, FOCI, one dedicated to the Antarctic and Southern Ocean research, one on marine research on the Southern African margin, and then uh, the more engineering one, which actually is connected to the other two FOCI, is innovation in chemical materials and observational engineering, all applied to uh, marine sciences in general. So, um, one main question that many people have been asking is so why a master in applied ocean sciences? Um, it is not just another master because it, this has been around for quite a long time and we think that our ingredients and our recipe is a, quite an important one and I would like to illustrate this concept through uh, the schematic of the traditional academic training in disciplinary ocean sciences. So the way it uh, it, it usually happens if that uh, we got uh, from uh, um, a variety of South African universities. So you will see the UCT logo, but this is also applying to any other university in South Africa and in Southern Africa in general. And for international students, it may apply also in, uh, in the global north and in other, in other regions. So we have usually uh, students that are coming from a variety of Bachelor of Science degrees, uh, undergraduate uh, uh, training from chemistry, geology, marine biology, applied math, oceanography, environmental sciences, uh, and, uh, and also including Bachelor of Arts students that have an interest in, in the ocean space and the marine space and the communities living around that. So, with that interest uh, that you would like to expand your horizon related to uh, ocean knowledge and ocean applications, uh, these students go into HANRAs and MSCs. Now, along this pathway, especially if they are not feeling very academically oriented in terms of uh, what, the academ what, what the university is expecting towards the PhDs and publications, uh, we end up having the so-called losses from an academic point because they are not going into PhD and the related publications that are usually the more traditional and typical output in, uh, in, in Southern African universities. However, this loss is a gain for a, a greater community, a community where the government, industry and consultancy and the public is very much interested. This is where the blue economy lies. So this, uh, uh, there are main issues with this model uh, from the academic viewpoint. MSc students who are not producing scientific out outcomes are seen as the losses, but universities 
need high numbers of honors and MSc students. So they keep attracting into through disciplinary components to uh, increase the chances of finding very good, very good uh, uh, PhDs, and then they would product, produce and increase the academic excellence of one place. But that academic knowledge is not always put into fruitful uh, uh, exploitation towards other users. And we find governmental institutions, private companies, industry in general, uh, that are somehow connected to the blue economy that cannot invest too much into internship support or training of their personnel or people that would uh, then uh, become those, uh, um, uh, uh, the leading force uh, in, their, uh, in, in their teams. So this is mostly because of limitation of human resources that cannot be dedicated to the specialized training. So companies and governmental institutions need to train and qualify people, but they most in most of the cases consider current postgrads as being anchored to theoretical academic paths or training and so not being professionally ready. So this took, uh, in a way led us to reconsider a new model in which this upper part is still the, the more classical, but through interventions, advisories, which this is one of those components that would happen at honors level, but also at BSc level during a BSc or BA levels, um, through uh, appropriate information of what are the possible uh, uh, outcomes, what are the possible pathways, um, informing people of the existence of parallel possibilities that are actually interconnected to each other. Because through the uh, Applied Ocean Sciences Masters that I'm going to illustrate in a while, you still have the opportunity to go back into a PhD in academic, more academic pathway with having had the opportunity to experience a broader a range of subjects and interacting with a variety of uh, stakeholders, but also to become directly connected to, uh, 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 to, the, to the ultimate stakeholders, to the downstream applications. And this is why this course is called Applied Ocean Sciences. Now, the ocean is the underlying uh, connector, and I'm using the term ocean in a very broad manner. So the, our final aims are, are to produce marine professionals, but these marine professionals have a strong academic foundation, which implies that they are eligible and uh, can be of high interest to academia anyway. So the, the PhD pathway is not removed through um, going through this uh, um, uh, um, coursework plus master. Just to remind everyone that the, a large amount of universities uh, uh, in the global north, uh, they tend to have only coursework masters. So dissertation masters are have been progressively removed because of the need to integrate the knowledge uh, and to integrate the uh, uh, the background of students and making them more prepared to all the possibilities or pathways that would come in their career afterwards. So we are very much looking towards uh, strengthening this uh, uh, theoretical academic foundations and making it a lot more interdisciplinary than what would happen in traditional disciplinary departments in universities. So making it an interdisciplinary ocean science course. It is meant to give uh, uh, students uh, both the academic and technical still skills with a a dedicated component on those technical skills that are applied to the uh, more general uh, oceanographic and marine biology aspect. But not only that, because we feel like the human texture is extremely relevant and actually the very reason why we study the ocean. It is designed for both recent graduates, as well as those uh, that have been working in this field and they feel like they need to integrate their experience with the academic foundation. So they bring their own experience back. Um, the course that has been designed over a few, the last few years uh, has been dedicated to operational and conservation activities linked to the blue economy, but it has been expanding and morphing along the way. Now, it's more the, method, the methodology and the method that is of interest to us. Is uh, um, 
sorry, I just need to mute some of you, um, is to expose students to range of disciplines in such a way that through multidisciplinary exposure, there is a growth of interdisciplinary capability. So it reinforces essential employability skills like scientific communication, project management, numeracy and analytical thinking and demonstrate the ability to perform independent research, which happens through the, uh, um, the mini dissertation. So let's have just a quick look at uh, um, the core structure. It is designed as a 13 month program, but I'll expand a bit more on this later. And it's, uh, it has a coursework component that is 50% of the course, 90 credits, and a short research project, uh, which is called the mini dissertation. That is just to differentiate from the dissertation. It doesn't mean that, that has to be minimized. So don't take that uh, uh, term uh, strictly and literally. The coursework component uh, uh, takes place during the first half of the year, uh, between January and July and August, and comprised modules with dedicated assessments. So each module has got a specific assessment. There are foundational courses, foundational modules, and all students must complete this component. And then we have specialized mod modules that belong to two streams, the operational oceanography and the applied marine biology. Then we have interdisciplinary modules that either come from one of the stream or are additional um, modules. Um, then the dissertation component comes on top of it and takes place after the coursework, uh, with expected submission in February the, day, the year after. So many students tend to register again for further six months. This is also allowed because of a UCT regulation that masters can only graduate in, in December. So that means that you actually, by registering again, which, which implies an, uh, a, a, an upfront payment of the entire um, dissertation component, mini dissertation component, uh, but the possibility of a rebuttal of that component, you can actually gain additional time and then uh, um, uh, 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 graduate at the end of the year in, in December. 